Hello YouTube, I'm back. And today I've overclocked my processor, my Ivy Bridge 3570K to 4.6 GHz. That's an 800 MHz increase over the 3.8 default. And the results were some expected, some not expected. Uh, not expected was that I'd have to go almost all the way up to 1.3 volts to get it to work. Apparently I have one of the uh, lemony tasting one, but uh, it works, and 4.6 really is more than enough for anyone. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, the second unexpected one is that Wine, particularly this game, Guild Wars 1, is now running twice as fast. Yeah, twice as fast. 800 megahertz gives me twice as fast. Now, a little benchmark I do in this game is I go stand up in this corner, I zoom all the way in so I get as few polys as possible, and I lower this to the minimum quality. All the way to... And then I look at the frame rate. And before I did the overclock, the frame rate in here was in the low 400s. Now, well, you can see for yourself it's in the 800s while recording. And when I'm not recording, it was getting close to 900. So, yeah, pretty freaking fantastic. Double the frame rate. I can't believe it did that. There must have been some weird kind of bottleneck wine was causing. Which is weird because wine's not supposed to cause any uh, performance degradation at all. But the point is, it's working very fucking fast. In fact, it's working so fast that I had to limit the frame rate on this game by adding VSync because if I didn't, then, well, quite frankly, the game would stop working because it's not designed to run at this frame rate. So, we then go back, set everything to the highest. You take that. And go stand where I was a second ago. Now, one of the more expected ones is that the Unigen Heaven benchmark went up by about 7 or 8%. So nothing as drastic as a doubling of frame rate, but... Um, yeah, it went from 77 frames per second average to 82 frames per second average. So, you know, modest, but expected. Uh, when running Prime 95 for 12 hours, or M Prime as it's called under Linux, just Prime, for 12 hours torture test, uh, I didn't have any bugs, so it's perfectly stable, or at least that's what I thought. And then while running the Unigen benchmark, I got a kernel panic, so I had to up the voltage by another 0.005. So now it's running at 1.295. Um, if there's another bug, if, if it crashes again, I'll up it to 1.3, but I sincerely hope it doesn't have to do that. I've heard of people getting 4.7 GHz on 1.3, so if I have to go all the way up to there, it's just terrible. But anyway, even when running Prime for prime torture test for 12 hours, the top temperature was 70 Celsius. So, yeah, my system is extremely well cooled. I have to say, Noctua makes some very, very nice coolers, and their NHD14, which makes it very hard to get at the RAM on the motherboard, is very, very good at cooling my processor. And the fact that it's in a half case, half X case, probably isn't bad either. So, yeah. Here's to a 100% increase in frame rate. I would show you the crisis benchmarks, but after making the crisis videos, I deleted them. And I can't be bothered installing them again. So, you know what? Let's just show you the improved performance in the following videos. So, I've got a Dusex Human Revolution coming up, and a Dead Space also. So many games I couldn't play before. Anyway. This should hopefully increase the performance significantly. And when I say significantly, I mean massively. So, yeah. See you soon.